The electric revolution is here. Tesla soars, governments push, and automakers scramble. But Toyota, the world's largest car company, isn't all in on EVs. Stubborn dinosaur or secret genius? What if the future isn't all plug and play? Prepare to have your assumptions shattered. The road ahead may not be what you expect. This is the story of Toyota's gamble and why it might just pay off. Let's rewind a bit. For years, Toyota has been the punching bag of the EV revolution. While other car makers scrambled to announce flashy all-electric lineups, Toyota stuck to its guns. They kept pushing hybrids, dabbled in hydrogen, and took a slow and steady approach to battery electric vehicles. The internet did not hold back. Toyota is doomed, they said. They are dinosaurs in a world of mammals. But here is the thing. Toyota might be having the last laugh. And today, we're diving into why their strategy is starting to look pretty smart. First up, let's talk about Toyota's game plan. It's not that they hate electric cars. They are just not putting all their eggs in one basket. Toyota is betting on a mix of technologies, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, hydrogen fuel cells, and yes, some fully electric vehicles too. It's like they are playing a game of automotive Tetris, fitting different pieces together to solve a complex puzzle. Now, why does this matter? Simple, the world is not switching to electric cars overnight. In fact, the transition is proving trickier than many thought. Let's break it down. Infrastructure headaches. Sure, Tesla's supercharger network is great, but what about everywhere else? Many countries are struggling to build enough charging stations. And let's not even get started on apartment dwellers or people who park on the street. Toyota's hybrids, they don't need any new infrastructure. You can fuel up just like always, but still cut down on emissions. Think about it. In the United States, there are about 150,000 gas stations, but only about 46,000 public EV charging stations. And many of those are slow chargers. If you live in a big city with a house and a garage, great. But what about everyone else? Toyota's hybrids solve this problem right now, not years down the road. Battery blues. We were promised cheaper batteries and longer ranges, but progress has been slower than expected. Lithium prices have gone through the roof, and those fancy solid-state batteries everyone is talking about. Still years away from mass production, Meanwhile, Toyota's hybrids use smaller, cheaper batteries and still get great fuel economy. Let's look at some numbers. The average EV battery costs about $132 per kilowatt hour. A typical EV needs a 60 kilowatt hour battery. That is nearly $8,000 just for the battery. A Toyota Prius, its battery is only 1.3 kilowatt hours. Way cheaper and still super efficient. Grid gridlock. Here is a fun fact. If everyone switched to electric cars tomorrow, most power grids could not handle it. We would need massive upgrades to generate and distribute all that electricity. Toyota's diverse approach doesn't put as much strain on the grid. In California, they are already asking EV owners not to charge during peak hours. Imagine if half the cars in the state were electric. The grid would melt down faster than an ice cream cone in Death Valley. Toyota's strategy, it gives the grid time to catch up the forgotten millions. Electric cars are great, but they are still too expensive for many people. In developing countries, the price gap is even wider. Toyota's hybrids offer a more affordable way to reduce emissions without breaking the bank. Think about countries like India or Brazil. The average person there cannot afford a Tesla, but they might be able to afford a hybrid Toyota. And that hybrid will still cut emissions compared to a regular gas car. Now, Let's look at some numbers. In 2023, while Tesla was grabbing headlines, Toyota quietly sold over 3.6 million electrified vehicles. That is more than any other automaker. And most of those were hybrids. Each one of those hybrids is significantly cleaner than a regular gas car. It might not be as flashy as a Tesla, but it's making a real difference right now. Let's break that down. A typical gas car emits about 404 grams of carbon dioxide per mile. A Toyota Prius, only 167 grams. That is less than half. Multiply that by millions of cars, and you're talking about a massive reduction in emissions. And that is happening today, not in some far-off future. But wait, there is more. Remember hydrogen. While everyone else gave up on it, Toyota kept pushing. Now, as battery electric vehicles face challenges, hydrogen is getting a second look. 
especially for things like long-haul trucking and industrial use. Toyota's hydrogen tech could be a gold mine. Why does hydrogen matter? It solves a lot of problems that battery electric vehicles face. You can refuel a hydrogen car in minutes, just like a gas car. It has a long range, and it doesn't need a huge, heavy battery. For big trucks or buses, this could be a game changer. Let's talk about manufacturing too. Toyota's lean production system is legendary. They are masters at squeezing efficiency out of every part of the car making process. This matters because making electric cars is hard. Just ask Tesla about their production hell. Toyota's expertise could give them a big advantage as they ramp up EV production. Here is an example. When Toyota started making the Prius, they applied their lean principles. The result? They could make a Prius almost as cheaply as a regular car, even with all the new tech. Now imagine them applying that to EVs. They could potentially make them cheaper and faster than anyone else. Now, I know what you are thinking, but what about all those flashy EV startups? Are not they the future? Well, let's check in on them. Rivian is struggling to meet production targets. Lucid is cutting prices. Even Tesla is facing more competition than ever. Meanwhile, Toyota's steady approach is looking pretty good. Let's look at some hard numbers. Rivian aimed to produce 50,000 vehicles in 2023 and managed to exceed expectations, producing around 57,000. Lucid, on the other hand, had to cut its production forecast and now expect to make around 8,000 vehicles. Tesla's still leading, delivering over 1.8 million cars globally, though its growth is slowing. And Toyota? They're consistently churning out millions of hybrids while slowly ramping up their EV production. No drama, just steady progress. Here is another point to consider. Regulations. Governments love to set ambitious targets for EV adoption, but they are starting to realize it's not so simple. Some countries are already pushing back deadlines for banning gas cars. Toyota's flexible strategy means they are ready for whatever comes next, whether it's a fast shift to EVs or a more gradual transition. Take the United Kingdom, for example. They originally planned to ban new gas and diesel car sales by 2030. Now, they have pushed it back to 2035. Why? Because they realize the transition is harder than they thought. Toyota's strategy looks pretty smart in this light. Let's talk about raw materials too. Electric vehicles need a lot of stuff that is hard to get. Lithium, cobalt, rare earth metals. Prices for these materials have been all over the place. Some experts worry we might not have enough to meet EV demand. Toyota's diverse approach, it spreads out the risk. They are not totally dependent on any one technology or material. Here is a wild statistic. The world currently produces about 540,000 tons of lithium per year. Sounds like a lot, right? But to make enough batteries for all new cars to be electric by 2035, we would need 2.1 million tons per year. That is a huge gap. Toyota's strategy gives us time to figure this out. Now, let's be fair. Toyota is not perfect. They have been criticized for lobbying against strict EV mandates, and some say they are moving too slowly on full electric cars. But here is the thing. Maybe they are just being realistic. They are looking at the big picture, not just chasing headlines. Think about it this way. Toyota sells about 10 million cars a year. That is in practically every country on Earth. They cannot just flip a switch and make them all electric overnight. Their strategy is about making the biggest impact they can, as fast as they can, across their whole lineup. So, was Toyota right about electric vehicles? It's still too early to say for sure. But their cautious, diversified approach is looking smarter by the day. While others bet the farm on a single technology, Toyota kept their options open. They might not have the flashiest EVs on the market, but they are selling millions of cleaner cars right now, and they are well positioned for whatever the future holds. The electric vehicle revolution is coming, but it might not look exactly like we thought. And Toyota, they might just end up leading the charge after all, in ways we never expected.